Whether it be a big presentation, a championship game, or any other big event, the key is preparation. The YTD crew knows that, which is why to prep for the upcoming snacking jubilee that is Halloween, we are prepping by severely limiting our sugar intake in order to be ready for the coming influx of delicious door-to-door treats. That doesn't mean we need to stop snacking, though. Today, we explore three low-sugar candy options and ask, You tried it! You tried that. I'm Nick Nowak, the pals Chad Hancock. Howdy. Nick Geiger. Hello, hello, hello. All right, guys. Um, Halloween is quickly approaching. Wow. Incredible. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys going as this year? Anything? I haven't decided yet. I think it's going to be a last minute. Mm. Last minute call. How Very last you? minute if you haven't decided at this point, considering <laughs> we are in mid to late October. That's right. <laughs> uh-huh. um yeah we we my wife has been going as the same care bear costume for like a number of years and Mm -hmm. i've been going as a care bear for the last couple years and we have a leftover care bear costume from when my daughter was a baby that we're just going to recycle for my son so we were like oh let's see if we can talk my daughter who's now you know three and a half or so to into also going as a care bear so the four of us can be care bears and so we were like, oh, do you want to go as a Care Bear for Halloween? And she's like, yes. So we got her this Care Bear costume and it arrived. And she's like, I don't want it. Like she hated it. <laughs> so now she's demanding that we find her a cat costume. <laughs> <laughs> Just All cut right. the ears off the bear yeah, and make put a some whiskers change. on that bear. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but she a specifically what? wanted to be a red cat, which there are no red. Ca- Every cat costume is black. Every single one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so... Just uh, last uh, slice open la- a vein and spray my blood all over the black cat costume and call it a day. Is that going to make the costume red? I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> last year we went as a, uh, our whole family is a Nightmare Before Christmas themed thing, but we also did a, a 5K Halloween run, which I think we're going to do again this year. And I, I picked just from our old costumes a orange prison jumpsuit because it was very easy Mm-hmm. to run in right mm-hmm. but as we were there the funniest part of the race was the people running in costumes that weren't easy to run in right like <laughs> there was a whole bunch of people running in those big inflatable uh like yeah t- t-rex the giant costumes. riding a dinosaur thing mm-hmm. yeah right yeah um so i think i gotta find something that's kind of fun would be funny to run in this year <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did a. I did a the Beta Breakers race out here where people are in costumes. I did that as Princess Peach one year, and uh, mm-hmm. it was kind of nice because I had the big flowing dress, so I got a little ventilation down there. But also oh, yeah. the 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 dress was very hot, and I had the the <laughs> wig, which was a, a huge mistake to have this like right. big hot wig on my head. That definitely sounds like a beta move right there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you going as Packers player again? Yeah, um, I'm going as Aaron Rodgers. I'm going to start doing ayahuasca and <laughs> re- refuting medical science. Uh, no, I think last year I went as Spider-Man, a much better Spider-Man costume than what I famously wore mm-hmm. in college. Right. Um, but I, it's I don't actually enjoy getting dressed up. But my sometimes my kids will be, oh come on, or like last year we were in this bowling thing for our kids' school. And we went bowling once a week, once a week, once a month. And uh, the theme that month was dressing up like everyone had to dress up in the same theme. So ours is Marvel superheroes. I'm like, ah, damn it. So I was just going to paint my chiseled physique green and go as the Hulk. But oh, yeah. uh, I decided <laughs> to go as Spider-Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, one costume you could go as is a uh, mm-hmm. chess player or uh, any of the chess pieces. Right. Kasparov, Gary Kasparov, <laughs> Bobby Fischer. That's the two uh, chess players we know. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Just uh, put it, put a big black box around you and say you're deep blue. Um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, so I I bring that up to seamlessly transition to a to a news story now uh, that I have seamlessly, and, huh? Yeah, seamlessly. You <laughs> know, a couple weeks ago we talked about a chess. Ro- we had a chess news story where a, a robot like broke some little kid's hands uh, or fingers. If you guys remember that. Yeah. Um, we have all the chess news here. Yeah. 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 So, uh, you know, 
the chess news it's it's coming it's coming in spades this is <laughs> this is that time of year where there's just uh-huh, so right. much chess news you know you have like the march madness season then you know you have like the nfl draft and then you have like all the chess news right it's the different seasons of the year um so here's the news story i have today this is from uh, metro.co.uk the headline is uh chess world rocked by rumors of anal beads and artificial intelligence <laughs> uh, so i'll read this to you guys tell me what you think here um Last week, world chess champion Magnus Carlsen withdrew from a major tournament with a $350,000 prize money after his unexpected defeat by underdog Hans Niemann. Mm. So Norway's Carlsen announced his withdrawal in a cryptic tweet with a video implying that Niemann had cheated. The tweet was accompanied by a video of a Portuguese soccer manager saying, I prefer really not to speak. If I speak, I am in big trouble. Other big names in the sport declared Neiman's play, quote, sus. Suspicions were raised further when Neiman admitted to cheating twice previously, and Chess.com issued a statement that it had banned Neiman from its site over his alleged cheating. All right, so here's where it gets interesting. So chess enthusiasts online have since gone on to speculate that Neiman may have been cheating with computer assistance and anal beads. One user tweeted, quote, currently obsessed with the notion that Hans Niemann has been cheating at the chess tournament using wireless anal beads that vibrate him the correct moves. As the chess world debated whether it was possible to cheat in chess with vibrating anal beads, Twitter's favorite (laughs) troublemaker, Elon Musk, joined in on the Oh, of course he did. Yeah. (laughs) He He tweeted, quote, talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one can see. Parentheses, because it's in your butt. And he <laughs> Got spelled, Got he spelled <laughs> your as Y U or as you are. Mm. So good mm-hmm. good for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> chess fans speculated that anal beads could transmit messages from an accomplice who was watching the game being broadcast live online and then consult an AI to transmit the perfect move. However, it's unclear if Neiman could be beating the tournament's anti-cheating precautions, which include a 15-minute delay in the broadcast of moves and radio frequency identification checks. <laughs> All right, hang on, hold up, hold up. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. um, I I could see like an anal bead telling you what card was you need to play, right? <laughs> like in a mm-hmm. card game, because you could buzz it buzzes five times, you feel your ass buzz five times. <laughs> How are you relaying like rook to to knight seven? <laughs> I was trying to figure that out. Like, is it just the is he passing his hand over the pieces and then it vibrates when it's like over the pawn he should move and that you know or something like that? Um, <laughs> it was weird when he's just holding his hands over pieces and going whoa whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, oh, I, I, knight! <laughs> <laughs> is that what his chest is? You just yell pieces names, knight. <laughs> I, you know, I could see an anal bead telling you, like, how sensitive your butthole is, mm-hmm, but right. probably not, like, how to play chess. Right. So, like, what if, I mean, you know, the other thing is, like, did, did they did they replay the broadcast to see if he had a giant boner the whole time? Right. From, like, overseeing. <laughs> I get know. suspicious when uh, new Grand Chess Master Ron Jeremy won the three straight <laughs> yeah, tournaments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> When Jaden Jameson suddenly dominated the chess world. <laughs> um, <laughs> they, they got suspicious when uh, he mentioned that he wanted to replace the uh, bishops with a statue of Goatsy. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, but the 15 minute delay thing, well, like that seems problematic, right? Because he would just be like, hold on, what a sec. I, I can't make a move for another 15 minutes while I wait for my ass to vibrate properly. <laughs> right. You know? Right. And if it's a wooden chair, you might hear it. Well, I guess it's way in your ass. The vibrations have been pretty hard. <laughs> uh-huh. It does seem like maybe this champion guy got beat and like was grasping at straws as to how he could lose a match. Maybe. Grasping I... at straws. And that's the thing you came up with. He shoves something betwixt his cheeks. He's got something in his ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only explanation. <laughs> AI anal beads. <laughs> What's that quote? Like all uh, the, uh, the simplest explanation is most likely the true one. 
AI anal beads. That's the simplest <laughs> yeah. explanation. Occam's razor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So it says uh, it's uh, apart from the ridiculous anal beads theory, people suspect that Neiman got his hands on Carlson's game plan ahead of time, thereby anticipating his quote surprise opening. Uh, so that's probably game plan. <laughs> Move the pawn slowly toward the other pawns. That was his game plan. It's <laughs> yeah. every chess game ever. Um, he the it sounds like the this this the the guy that quit had his surprise opening, but uh, the other guy had his own surprise opening. It was full of anal beads. <laughs> um, A surprise gaping opening. <laughs> <laughs> Neiman has vehemently denied that he cheated against Carlson, and even went so far as to say that he would play fully naked to prove it. Um, okay, so that perv, I- calm down. No one wants this shit. <laughs> well, you could, you get the beads all the way in, though, right? Like you'd still, yeah, yeah. But you, you can can't... see how how hard he is, I guess. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, <laughs> you can see it. Would it, would his ass cheeks vibrate from the sensation? Mm-hmm. Probably not. Mm-hmm. Every fifteen minutes, he's lubricating the chess pieces. <laughs> um, and I so used to play <laughs> battle chess, buck naked, back in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> well, just playing the computer, though. I used to play shoot some ladders naked just to be like, I ain't cheating. Just <laughs> I remember when I used to play Monopoly with my family and I needed 15 minutes to decide what to do until my uh, dad radioed into my butthole to just fucking go already. <laughs> the beads are telling me to buy Park Place. Um, I just show up naked. Like when we play basketball, I just like people to know I'm not cheating. I just show up naked. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I like the people to, uh, I like the people on Ashley Madison to know I'm not cheating. So I show up naked. (laughs) (laughs) Stupid. All right. And then the last line says, well, we not, well, we might not know if anal beads are a liability to the integrity of chess advances in material science and artificial intelligence could mean checking for ingenious inventions like quote, smart clothes that transmit messages through the fabric. What? That's a thing. They're saying that like that could be a thing, if like if there's vibrating anal beads, why couldn't there be like vibrating pocket square or something? I don't yeah, know. we desperately sure. need to use this fucking bleeding edge technology to win a fucking chess tournament. That's where the the best. <laughs> it is three hundred fifty thousand dollars yeah. on the line, dude. I guess. Yeah, I'd, I'd I'd play naked. What? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Is that why uh, Peter North now refers himself as a pawn star and not a porn star? Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's right. I'm trying here. <laughs> Peter North reference. <laughs> <laughs> we all of our the three porn stars we reference probably haven't done porn in like 20 years. <laughs> Ron Jeremy's in jail, I think. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For cheating at chess, All right? He's playing chess in prison with like a, I don't know, like a homemade anal piece <laughs> attached to a string, and his cellmate is just wiggling him from the next cell over, <laughs> <laughs> like the two gym ropes <laughs> attached to his asshole, just whipping him up and down. That was yeah. battle roping his butthole. <laughs> That was the original AI anal beads. Cause like, you know how like old telephones is just like two cans connected by a string. No. And that was just like anal beads connected by a string. For, hold on. Hold on. Cellmate. I don't think the anal beads have artificial intelligence themselves. <laughs> <laughs> they used an AI algorithm to figure out the move and a guy input the anal bead vibration. I don't want any anal beads that can think on their own. I fucking- do. You do? Take over the yeah. world. Like just some kid on the other end of a tin can connected to the anal beads, just speaking into the tin can. <laughs> Move the night. <laughs> Move I, your left I, nut I, and then your night. <laughs> I want the AI anal beads to like be smart enough to know to get out of my asshole. I don't want the <laughs> anal beads up there. Um, do you think it was vibrating like in a Morse code kind of thing? And that's how, that's maybe that's how he knew. It's got to be like a certain number of buzzes for each piece and then a type of buzz for each move. I don't mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Like a diagonal buzz for a bishop. Diagonal? Or, uh... <laughs> this guy's got a sensitive sphincter. He can like tell which bead is buzzing and stuff. <laughs> He's got an L-shaped <laughs> right. bead for a knight. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going to go there. Yeah. Oh, we can cut this if need be. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Always like yes. that preface. Yeah, <laughs> anal beads, right? Yeah. So right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get like that you just put them up your ass, 
And then it's supposed to be <laughs> good job. It's supposed to feel good to like pull them out slowly or something. Is that the how does exactly uh, does anal beads work? I think it's like if people that just like something in their butt because there's something for their butthole to like tighten around. It like fills your butt while you're doing other stuff. Well, then the, uh, like well, shopping. Then you do butt plug then, right? I so suppose like, you could do butt plug. In, yeah. Well, but the beads. Be- the anal beads are like ribbed for your pleasure in a way, uh-huh. right? Because uh-huh. they're a different shape. Right. Uh, I'll look it up. In the meantime, what's the... Uh... Yeah, burn that <laughs> Google search Sorry. history Google, when you're done. How do you anal beads? That's what you should Google. <laughs> Why do you anal beads? <laughs> yeah. Are anal beads AI? <laughs> anal beads is just like, because you, you you can't afford a butt plug, so you just steal your grandma's pearl necklace or whatever, and then mm-hmm. that's how anal beads got started. Probably. <laughs> I just steal my grandma's butt plug. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll cut into the story. To, okay, this is WebMDs. What are anal beads? What in the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> WebMD just desperate for engagement, apparently. <laughs> All these fuckers are just horny online. We got to do something. <laughs> here's here's WebMD's nine-step tutorial on how to blow a dude. <laughs> right. <laughs> it says that uh, you put them in your ass after you have a sinus infection. That seems very strange. <laughs> uh, <laughs> A WebMD article on how to properly tickle the balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It says anal beads are sex toys used during sex to enhance yep. your orgasm. Anal beads look like a variety of bulbs attached to a cord with a grip on one end. They are intended for insertion into the anus, and the end grip should make them easy to remove. The insertion and removal of anal beads stimulates the sensitive nerves mm. at the entrance of the anus, which increases sexual pleasure. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. So it's like getting fucked in the ass by your grandma's pearl necklace. <laughs> Basically. Yep. You seem real, <laughs> real de- demanding that it's your grandma. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know what that's about. Uh, underneath it says also there's a link to see grandma's pearl necklace. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> And chronic strep throat was another one. <laughs> <laughs> Rub anal beads on face to cure rosacea. Well, I never knew that. That's really strange. <laughs> All right. Was there more to it? Or is that no, the, that's uh, the end of the story. Fucking right. chess players, those horn dogs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Breaking fingers and breaking hearts. That's right. <laughs> breaking buttholes behind it behind this let's eat some snacks <laughs> three snacks low sugar snacks we rate them on a five point scale a love debt like debt indifferent to debt dislike debt and hate debt and we have to start with the idaho spud because we have to it's huh? gonna be <laughs> yep <laughs> this uh the company is o-w-y-h-e-e oh we Oh, a wee Idaho spud. That's the, the noise I made when I put my in. I was like, owie! <laughs> <laughs> no! The candy bar that makes oh, Idaho famous. I didn't know anything about Idaho until we had this candy bar. No, I, I should say these uh, these snacks all come to us from uh, my sister-in-law, Slostry. Um, Thank she's you. Been, yeah, she's been into like some a lot of low sugar and no sugar snacks lately. And so uh, she thought we should try some of these. So this, the, the uh, overwhelming character uh, trait of this is that when you feel it, it feels like goo, right? It is, it, is a, it is a solid piece, but it's very mushy. It's like a semi-solid log of shit. Yeah, you guys had texted me to ask, like, should the consistency be that way or did they melt in transit? I'm what? Like, nope, that's I how it quick- is. So the outside is chocolate and coconut. Mm-hmm. What, pray tell, is the inside? Because it is odd. Mm-hmm. I thought it was like peanut butter at first, but it's definitely not. I nope. think it's just like a... Sh- a uh, it's supposed to be low sugar, but it's just sugar has a sugary taste. There's nothing in the ingredients that would imply what it is. It's like a light... The outside's like, like I guess said, a darker chocolate... And a lot of coconut, heavy I think on the coconut. I think it's like a fake sugar marshmallow kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. The inside of your eyes, a marshmallowy, that fake marshmallowy texture. It looks like, like pumpkin a, pie. Yeah, it's a light brown. <laughs> oh boy! Oh. <laughs> it, it, it looks like 
<laughs> it looks like what came out on the anal beads. <laughs> what came with the anal beads? Potatoes studded anal beads. Idaho studs. Yeah, um, I guess it's you. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm not going to beat around the bush mm. or around the butthole. Mm-hmm. These suck. This mm. is not good. I'm not. A, I coconut's fine, um, but the middle part that's all like wet and weird and orange brown looking that kind of looks like newborn baby shit. Uh, mm. Also tastes bad. I don't know what it is. Again, it's sugar free. So maybe it or low sugar. Colostrum. So... Is that the name of it? Yeah. No, the... <laughs> no. no that's breast milk um, stuff, right? Yeah. Colostrum is the first breast milk. You're thinking of merconium. That's, merconium. Is, is, that's it. That's the first baby shit, but that looks like yeah, black yeah, yeah. tar. Yeah. Oh, well, whatever kind of baby shit or breast milk. <laughs> Anal Whatever baby shit it is, it's still baby shit. Whatever smegma this is, uh, I'm not into it. It tastes bad. This is a dislike that all the way. That's bad. Ken? Merconium. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> it's... You know, I, I actually, I, I disagree with Geiger. I actually think the inside Fuck tastes you. better than... <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the inside tastes better than the outside. Um, but that's because I don't really like coconut. So on the outside, you get this coconut flavor, um, just kind of like dominating. The inside's not good either. I want to be clear. Um, w- although when I took my first bite, I was like, oh, this isn't half bad. But then like I started to like isolate the different ingredients and I didn't really like it. And again, with this stuff that has this like, does this have fake sugar in it before I talk out of my ass? Like aspartame or some shit? Um, no, it says it has sugar. All right. I'm not going to say it has a bad aftertaste like all fake sugar things like I was about to say. But it does have a bad aftertaste for some reason. Probably the coconut. Um, I agree with Geiger. This is a dislike that. Ooh, Thanks, man. Um, I don't think it's half bad. I think it's. All bad. Uh, <laughs> inside, outside, I don't know what the oh, fuck you guys are trying to discriminate between it. It's all shitty. It's, um, oh, I don't want to quite. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to go to hate. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have to. I'm going to give it a hate that. It's really gross. <laughs> um, so a couple dislikes, a hate. We've got uh, a very beatable score. Next, let's go to these scrummy gummy bears. I think that um, that's the sound. If you listen closely, that's the sound of the the chess player's butthole every fifteen minutes. <laughs> Rook to five nine. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Uh, I've got eczema. Just look here on WebMD. <laughs> the only solution the... is cat of nine tails. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at the WebMD article for key party? <laughs> uh, this does say no sugar for these for these gummy bears. Organic, natural, fruity flavors. No sugar alcohols, no artificial sweeteners, no artificial flavors or colors. Um, but it does say there are flavors to these. It is the, uh, ooh, it's hard to read. Lime, mixed berry, watermelon, orange, strawberry, and green apple. It does say go ahead and eat the whole bag. So they are definitely marketing right to me. Go ahead, fatty. <laughs> <laughs> No sugar in these, you fat sack with no impulse control. It's still Ooh. 60 calories, though. Oh. Yeah, there's no sugar in these. No. <laughs> <laughs> Can we also just say this name sounds just got scrummy, gummy? But it sounds like you, you like dug them out of the grout in your bathtub or something. It fucking sounds disgusting. That's Scrum. like a British thing, right? Like, I used to watch Great British Bake Off, and um, there was this... There was this uh, old lady judge on there. She's not on there anymore, but she used to go like, oh, it's your cake is scrummy all the time. Oh, does it mean oh. like scrumptious or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, all right. I take it back, I guess. No, no, fuck it. Stupid name. 
<laughs> Chad, you're right. starting us off. What do you think? I mean, they, you know, I, I oh boy, they really, these things really are aggressively bland. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they like, they, 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 I, I can't discern any of the different flavors apart from each other. Uh, cause there really is no flavor to any of them. Um, they also just seem sort of like, they're not as like soft and chewy as normal gummy bears. I feel like, like, I feel like they're, maybe I just haven't had gu- regular gummy bears in a while, but these feel like very hard and like, you kind of have to rip into them. And I would prefer something like maybe a little bit more gummy, like, you know, meeting the actual gumminess of it, like the texture you're supposed to have. I don't know. I, but I can't like, I can't really hate on these cause they're just kind of there, but like, I don't really want to eat any more of them. Uh, so I guess I'll just stick with like a low level indifferent to that. Wow. Um, <laughs> it turns out the key ingredient to a gummy bear <laughs> is sugar. <laughs> Cause these are shitty. Um, I mean, it's just like the disappointment because the taste, I don't know. Uh, maybe they like, they could maybe be called like COVID bears or something because if, <laughs> <laughs> if I, I gotta hear this. My, Why are they called COVID bears? <laughs> if I had lost I my it. sense of yeah. taste, right, then this is what a gummy bear would taste like. <laughs> like it's all there, all the sensations are there, but of like the chewiness of it, but there's no flavor at all. It is insane that there there's even six flavors listed on there. Yeah. Because there's not flavor one in any of these. Um, they're not inedible. I'm not going to give them a hate, but they are not good. I'm going to go a uh, strong dislike that. Geiger? Can I get real quick? Yeah. Can I just do some? COVID bears coughing <laughs> here and there and everywhere. Okay, go ahead. Is that the Gummy Bears theme song? Yes. Mm-hmm. High adventure that's beyond compare. High fevers that's beyond compare. <laughs> Hold on. How <laughs> okay, do you know the Gummy Bear theme song? Or is that Care You don't know the Gummy song? Bear? No, okay. that's Gummy and daring, courageous and caring. <laughs> From what the old no- cartoon. What podcast did I just join? Wait, the Gummy Bears <laughs> have their own cartoon? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, those of us who like didn't Marching live sheltered lives. As their song fills the air. <laughs> yeah. I really missed out in my fucking bunker not being able to watch the fucking gummy bears on cartoon. Must have been, I'm Grape! Let's go on an adventure! It had uh, nothing to do with the food gummy bears. Oh, what were they? It Just, was like a Disney show, and they these random bunch of bears that were dressed in like Robin Hood type clothes would drink what? this juice that would make them really bouncy. And they would what fight. The they fuck? would like fight. If they got on Slizzerp? <laughs> they would fight crime under the cover of night. <laughs> uh, you mixing genres there? Win chess tournaments. Is... <laughs> All right. Well, these gummy bears win no such chess tournament. These are scrummy in terms of they taste very crummy and and scummy at the same time. So mm-hmm. they, uh, Novak's right. They're bland as fuck. You or you said that they're bland as fuck. He's right that there's no flavor. I couldn't. You, I think if I I tried to eat the different colors, they all taste the same. Mm-hmm. The during taste is bad. The aftertaste is way worse, mm-hmm. and the consistency is bad too. They're like I know gummy bears are supposed to be chewy, but these are like harder than Gary Kasparov during the Queen's Gambit. So I don't, <laughs> I don't want to try these anymore. Uh, you got to put the sugar back in the scrummy gummy bears. Um, I guess they just Put be gummy bears. Put the sugar in. back in the bear. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the pictures. Is there's there's two like a green and a yellow, and then open your fucking bag. Do you see a one goddamn no. shade of green? All I had, <laughs> all I had was purple and red and orange. That's all I. Had. Yes, that's all. It's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I found a yellow. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I'm bringing out all the fuck yous tonight. <laughs> well, it ain't exactly scrummies and Idaho spuds out here. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a fucking dumb. Uh, all right, I give this a dislike that. These are bad. All right. Uh, we're two, two dislikes and indifferent. Scrummy bears still in the lead, though. And uh, we'll see if it can get beat by Choco Right after the segment. 
Geiger. Oh shit! Geiger, the Geiger has gone and turned, turned out off the, lights. the light in his room, so that. And now he's put on his sunglasses <laughs> uh-huh. in a pitch black room. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I should have done the order of operations a bit differently here. Hold on. <laughs> How are you going to read whatever it is you're going to read in a, in hey, a pitch black room? I got this. All right. You do. Right. You look like Morpheus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Andrew. Oh, wait, that's not Morpheus. <laughs> that's the other guy. All right. That's All right, Elrond. We got a little... El... <laughs> Elrond Hubbard. All right. We've Angle got. beads are a cheating device. <laughs> Just to smell. <laughs> what if I told you? I gave your a... anal beads a virus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got to turn the lights on. This isn't working. <laughs> All right. Now, are you lighting a candle too? What the fuck? Don't you have Wait. to get? A, don't you have to wake up in like three hours to go <laughs> yeah. to the airport? And you're spending I got all this a candle. Time. I got my shades. All right, he's turned flowers. He's turned the light uh-huh. in the room back on. Wait, you have flowers there yeah. too? I got some lube. We're, uh, we're all set, guys. What for the a fuck? Night. You <laughs> brought lube. Yeah, down. I brought some lube. <laughs> he's now set the He's mood. now pulling some AI anal beads out of his pocket <laughs> mm-hmm. and it's inserting me, them. It's telling me to end this now, um, <laughs> gentlemen. We are, uh, uh-huh. we just ate, we're eating some low sugar snacks tonight, so you might need a little extra sugar, especially as I believe on the 15th of October, it is sweetest day, and there are some people out there that might oh. need a little help finding some love, so we are delving once again, movie. yes, we are heading back to uh, Reddit for some hot, <laughs> successful pickup lines, this thing better not play a Governor Pritzker again, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god now my internet okay well it's cycling insert music here baby right, All right. Fire. yes <laughs> there we go yeah can you hear it yes oh yeah okay it's new age yeah it's sexy all right <laughs> The height of sex, right here. Okay. Stupid. <laughs> All, right. All right, you'll just have to pretend you can see the candle. It's the most turn, effort you've ever put into this. Turn, yeah. turn your room light back off so I don't have to look at your fucking face anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to read the list. All right. So once again, I'm going to read these uh, pickup lines, what and you guys saying a pickup line to someone involves lube because. <laughs> 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 because they're gonna be so wild, you're gonna. They might just drop trial right there, and you gotta oh, okay. move. Yeah, that makes sense. Plus, you know like how you the like anal- walk through a crowded bar with a candle. You know how uh-huh. you do that. <laughs> also, if you need like to fit the anal beads up your butt, but you're not ready, you can lube them up, and then like I can Serrano de Bergerac you with the AI's pickup lines. <laughs> <laughs> if I buzz seven times, tell her she looks pretty. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to say these pickup lines, you need to tell me a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being no fucking way, 10 being I would use that. Um, mm-hmm. And then at the end, we'll have to say if you gun to your head, you have to pick one of these. You're going to have to choose one. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. <clears throat> He's slicking his hair back. Um, yep. Hey, baby. <laughs> Trust my, me, my ladies pick- and gentlemen. He looks very funny. <laughs> my my pickup line voice turns more and more into Elvis every time we do this. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> that's a horse now. <laughs> uh, that's Bojack horse. Uh, horse I'm having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna die on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> My rectum's being torn apart by anal bleeds. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody consult a WebMD. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good, good, efficient start. All right, here we go. <laughs> hey, girl. Do you have the coronavirus? Because I can't stop looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's humorous. Well, the, wouldn't it? Wouldn't the person saying that be the one? If they're sneezing, look. Yes, <laughs> no, fine. <laughs> you can, you can. Hey, baby, you can workshop it all you want. 
<laughs> Chad, what do you think? Um, <laughs> this is list A. Yeah. Oh, uh, boy, oh, boy. It's, I mean, it's whoever, topical. whoever wrote this has coronavirus because they have no taste. Um, oh, oh, snap. Burn. Burn, burn, uh, burn, burn. <laughs> so uh this is stupid i uh <laughs> i i don't think i would make like first of all i wouldn't make jokes where it seems like i'm gonna sneeze on somebody even like back before covid you know what i mean like i wouldn't want to make somebody think i'm sneezing on them yeah um that's just nasty um yeah this is a pretty bad one it's not even funny and it doesn't make sense i'm gonna give it a three no heck. I don't think this one is that bad. There's no way I'm giving it a score that low this early on. Mm. They're going to get way more offensive. Mm-hmm. Um, this one is clearly very timely. Right? Oh, they so timely. <laughs> Only two and a half years old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give I don't think this one's that bad to say. Uh, there's nothing gross about it. I'm going to give it a seven. <laughs> Whether you get to the Y2K related pickup lines. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl. That's how you got to start every one of these. Hey, girl. Just yell at someone from across the room. Hey, are you okay? I heard the queen died, and I'm just checking it's not you. So you're going to have to use this one pretty quickly. This is timely think. as yeah. fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That one is time. Unless they're talking about a different queen, which they could. Mm-hmm. They're right. talking about. The King of the Queens band. show was canceled. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> the, the band queen. <laughs> they um, all died. <laughs> I, uh, this one's bad. I just don't. I, I think evoking death, right? It's not the uh, way inside of uh, inside of someone. Oh, this guy so, don't know how to fuck <laughs> inside, <laughs> inside of someone. someone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, well, unless you're like a, like one of those guys that does the embalming. <laughs> yeah, one of those guys. <laughs> I couldn't think of a name. Mortician. That's okay. All right. uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um, I, this is just middle. Of the, it's stupid. It's not overly offensive. I'm just going to give it a five. Um, I like this one more than the last one because uh, I think dead royalty is a lot funnier than COVID. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to give this one a six. Okay. Okay. So you're liking them now. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Liking. <laughs> hey baby, are you a sea lion? Cause I see you lying in my bed later tonight. I saw uh-huh. that one coming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, you did, huh? Yeah. You, <laughs> you put that one together. <laughs> well, use it on a woman. See how smart you are then. Um, it is. It's. It's a little too predictable. I. I like that it involves animals. You know. You guys know I like animals. Animals yeah. are funny. Uh, big animal lover. Uh, yeah. And. Uh, <laughs> and then you know maybe you could like make some joke afterwards like you're gonna flop around on top of them like a sea lion. You know that'll get them going. What noise uh, does a sea lion make? Or. <laughs> Probably. I think it. I think the noise that a sea lion makes is, I'm gonna nut. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And they flop around on top of you. I think it's uh, I'm a sea lion. <laughs> I think that's what it is. Um. Yeah. So this one is. I don't. It's just too pretty for me. <laughs> I'm the king of the jungle. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So I'm gonna I'm gonna go down to four for this one. Okay, Um, this one's a little dumb. (laughs) Mm -hmm. You (laughs) You sure? I put it kind of on the level of the uh, the queen one. I'm just gonna stick with the five foot. Okay. Hey, girl, are you a magician? It's the strangest thing, but every time I look at you, everyone else disappears. Mm. Mm. Kind of smooth. Very smooth. Kinda very smooth. Mm. Yeah. Nothing gets girls horny like a magician. <laughs> <laughs> look at Copperfield, he pulls Tang. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does he? Ever? Well known. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't he married to like Christy Brinkley or something for a while? Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah. Who? I mean, who wasn't? Penn and Teller. 
Yeah. These guys. <laughs> Slay puss. <laughs> Tell her dicks it down. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Copperfield betted the Statue of Liberty. We all know it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh. Wait, what was it about the magician? What was the magician? Th- oh, everyone, everyone disappears. disappears. Yeah. It's very tame for this yes. segment. That mm-hmm. might be the tamest. <laughs> Pick up line it, it you have ever read. Long. <laughs> <laughs> I try to shake it up a little bit. <laughs> um, so it's not a good line, but it's I wouldn't be that embarrassed to say it. I'm gonna put it up there to nine. No, eager yeah. one might say. It- it, it almost feels like you left the last part of it off, you know, like, you make everyone else disappear. Like my AI anal beads disappeared on my <laughs> asshole a few minutes ago. I did, um, I cut that out for brevity. Yeah, right. okay, okay, um, got it. Um, yeah, I agree with Novak, I, I think this one's alright. It's actually, I'm not gonna say clever, but clever-ish, in a way. <laughs> clever um, tangential. I'm, yeah, <laughs> right, it's clever adjacent. Adjacent. <laughs> <laughs> I would give this an eight. Ooh, man, guys, your libido is out of control. All right, here we go. (laughs) Hey there. Hey, you, you girl over there. I'm shaking up the intro part. What the fuck? (laughs) You, you. (laughs) How much does a polar bear weigh? Enough to break the ice. Hi, I'm Nick. (laughs) (sighs) (laughs) Yeah. Or you can wait till they answer, too, if you want, like, to make it interactive. They'd be like, ah, 51 pounds. I don't know. And then you go, <laughs> you go, 51 pounds. Yeah. 51 pounds sounds like what you would guess a polar bear <laughs> <laughs> How many Fucking polar bears idiot. called the Butterbill, uh, Butterball f- Turkey Factory? <laughs> um, I, all right. It's look, it's dumb, but it did mm-hmm. make me kind of laugh. Uh, I right. did laugh. Um, okay. And I like bears, bears are funny. Anytime you can involve bears in a conversation at all, um, it's, it's a win for me. Uh, I'm going to give this one a nine. I think this one could actually legitimately work. I have heard this one multiple times before. Oh, they used it on you? It's used, been used on me, yes. Is that what your wife used on you to pick you up? David Blaine used this on me. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to be encased in ice. He just stares at you. Uh-huh. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. It's this felt like overused to me. I'm gonna slide it, but it's again not offensive. I'm really confused about what's going on this particular week um, Why? about how clean all these are. So <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna keep this at a seven. Have all you right, read all, right. all the dirty ones <laughs> in the past? <laughs> There's none I, left. I, in in truth, fellas. A lot of times, all of Reddit is full of dis- extremely disgusting ones that make no fucking sense. It's like, uh-huh. hey, you're hot. Would you blow on my penis? And st- like, it's like the stuff that <laughs> isn't cool. remotely. F- or it's like too disgusting to say. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right. Here, all right. Fine. You want to you spice things up, gentlemen? Here we go. No. Yes. <laughs> hey, girl. I'm no taxidermist, but I'll gladly stuff your beaver. <laughs> Yikes! Yeah, now now who's thankful I wasn't getting there before? Uh, now it is clever, mm-hmm. <laughs> brilliant. brilliant. Yeah. I here's the thing. Yeah, uh, I just thought it was going to end with "I will stuff you." Yeah, right. And even no. that would have been kind of gross. But it's an animal. Uh. The term beaver (laughs) 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 drives the women away. Okay, but what about beef? (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to build a dam for your beef. What? (laughs) Uh, (laughs) I think this one's pretty bad. I'm going to go down to three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Beak up some beavers. Um... I, I don't know. Is that, what that a means. Ra- is that a rap no, song uh, or something? No, okay. yeah. <laughs> um, this is bad. Yeah, I don't think this is going to get you. Everyone inside. loves to rap about B cups. <laughs> <laughs> the girl had such an adequate chest. <laughs> Talk about my beaver, my beaver. <laughs> um. 
Yeah, it's a good, it's a good, it's like the old Shakira lyric, right? So you don't confuse them with mountains. That's mm-hmm. what uh, mm-hmm. she has. Yeah. Um, yeah, so anyways, this is not going to get you inside of anyone, anywhere, <laughs> any place, um, anytime. This is, this is really bad. I'm going to go two. Hmm. How much would you have to pay just to walk up to a woman and use the word beaver in reference to a vagina? Like, it'd be mortifying. Just th- yeah. that alone. With no context? Just say beaver? <laughs> How's your beaver? <laughs> beaver. <laughs> just keep walking. <laughs> just point at her crotch and yell beaver. Uh, all right, here we go. I want to see your beaver! <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking arrested for that. <laughs> Especially accosting her and screaming in her face. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, not do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, baby. Are you a hydroelectric infrastructure project in China? Because I think you're the three gorgeous damn. Gorgeous, <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous damn. <laughs> you can impress her with your geographical knowledge here. <laughs> what do you think? Um, that one got better with every section (laughs) yeah yeah. it was a mouthful yeah i thought it was done but then uh yeah you had the little capper there on the end look i I, that one is is flawless that one may be the (laughs) the perfect pickup line um i'm giving that one a 10 woo woo it's not a flaw It's as flawless as the architecture of the three gorgeous dam (laughs) your main problem is that they're not going to understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you got to use terms they know, like wow. beaver. <laughs> you have a low opinion of the women in bars today that they've never heard of the three gorgeous dance. I'll just say, the joke, it'll end, and I'll say, damn! And then they'll be like, just staring at us for 10 seconds, and I'll just go, beaver! <laughs> no, 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 no. You gotta, when you do it, you right gotta back like, in. Have a visual aid to accompany it, which is the WebMD page of Three Gorges Dam. <laughs> I can read up on it and learn about the history. Three Gorges yeah. Dental Dam. <laughs> I, I do think that's the issue is that uh, you're going to confuse a number of people, but okay. it is clever. I do enjoy it. I'm going to give it an eight. All right. All right. I think we've got, let's see, one, two. I think we've got where, where, where. <laughs> where. Alright, three more. Ready? Is your name Lightning? Because you're McQueen. Oh. Little Pixar joke for you there. Nope. Oh uh, no. Nope. Well what if they're really into <laughs> Disney? And cars and stuff. That's an even bigger problem. <laughs> yeah, are they where's these women are of age, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey girl, you like candy in my van? <laughs> 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 I um <laughs> this one's really bad. Yep. It's uh yeah. yeah, evoking cars and cars two even. <laughs> um, and even cars three. <laughs> I want to go home and tow mater with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, full disclosure. I have not seen second one of any of the cars movies. Me neither. They're terrible. Me neither. And They're I really have children. Pixar, Pixar is, is I think, has some really good movies. The, the car series is the absolute nadir of that entire studio. Yeah. Um, All right. So I'm going to give this a four. Okay. Chad? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've never seen any cars either. I never want to see any of the cars movies uh, or any of the spinoffs, airplanes, boats, whatever the hell else they had. Mm-hmm. Um, this is this is really, really bad. I, I feel like there's even other Pixar movies that, like, you know, you could you could have, like, a, a better pun off of or something. You could? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, uh, uh-huh. I'm a good dinosaur or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, here's one. Here's yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I want to feel you from the inside out. <laughs> That's better. Nice. All right. Would you like to rat a do me? <laughs> <laughs> you make my penis go up. <laughs> I want to show you my monster's kink. <laughs> we actually should. We have a lot of these. These yeah, are really, yeah, pretty, pretty, funny of these. Yeah. That's pretty good. My, 
right, here we go. Come tickle my ball, E. Um, so, <laughs> you have what? Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is bad. I'm, I'm going to give this one also a two. Okay. All right, almost done. Uh, all right. <clears throat> hey, girl. <laughs> I, I practice astrology. I meditate with the sun in the morning, and I masturbate to Uranus at night. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Astrology had two S's in the front, just so yeah, you know. Of course yeah. it did, yeah. And a yeah. dash. I didn't, I didn't think you just pronounced it like an idiot. Um, <laughs> well, on I accident. could really tell you were reading that one, too. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it was pretty wordy, yeah. Um, horrible. Absolutely horrible. I think... Uh, did you get the last part about Uranus being like a planet and her butt, mm-hmm. though? Okay. Yeah. Yep. And Uranus is in retrograde. Yeah. Uh, whatever that means. So I'm. It means you say... have AI anal beads stuffed in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is awful. Uh, astrology is bad. Um, telling people that you're masturbating to their butt is bad. Uh, so that's going to be a one for me, dog. Um. <clears throat> yeah. The getting the Uranus jokes is <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I mean, it's timely, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> it is timely. Very topical. It is, t- it is timely. I mean, I th- it's probably going to be some James Webb telescope pictures of Uranus coming up pretty soon here. So that'll make the jokes timely again. Uh, i got to give it a three. Okay. So we're finished with the ambiance here. Nothing's got a one yet, so what do you got? You can All right. You bringing it here? I don't know. This is the last one. We'll see. <clears throat> hey, girl. Are you the resume I just gave during a job interview? Because I'm going to make up some impressive lies to try to fill all your holes. <laughs> <laughs> fill holes? In what the resume. Fill? Like gaps in your re- in your employment history and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> your qualifications. Oh, 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 oh. Or, oh, oh, I'm sorry, did you mean like, or the holes like on a woman? Like our nostrils and... <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Do I need to work in HR to get this? Or, I mean, what... <laughs> It's what it's, Filling a, the it's holes a resume. On the resume. It just means like you are they got described as holes? Or, I, oh. Yeah, <laughs> for the purposes of this pickup line, sure. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> we usually call them in recruiting. They we usually call them vaginas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, go ahead. Yeah, you know that's what the recruiters usually say is you don't have anything here from 2005 to 2007. Tell me about that hole. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about say. that tight hole you have in your resume. <laughs> um, um, have we found our one here? Uh, is it th- like a one has to be very clearly aggressive? Oh, and over if you want line. something, just give me two seconds. No, this is plenty right. aggressive, All but. Right. It's also bad in the way that it makes no sense, right? So you're going to be a little puzzled trying to figure out what you're talking about. Uh, so I'm going to just, I'm still, I'm going to give it another three. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I, this one, not only, you know, I think this one is like pretty aggressive and it also makes no fucking sense at all. Uh, it's, it's truly stupid in every sense of the word. Uh, so, I, I will give this one a one. I think it's okay. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. B- 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 bonus. You wanted it hard. So I, I quickly found the worst one I could find just scanning it right. You wanted it hard? Took, <laughs> yeah, I, hold on. That's not what I meant. That's my last pickup line. Do you want it hard? Uh, <laughs> do you like to draw? Because I put the D in raw. There you go. <laughs> Is that better? Is that better? Is that what you were looking for? You fucking sick freaks. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> That's much better. That, that That's was four. Good. That was four ones in. That's all I had to do. It's fine. <laughs> Winner. Yeah, that's the one I pick. <laughs> I'm gonna say that one. All right, let's get to the final snack. It's the Chaco Right, R I T E, and it's described as chocolate crispy caramel. Superior low net carb treat, keto friendly, and maltitol free. Oh, I I had I've been trying to cut back on my maltitol. So <laughs> Whatever good. that is. Yeah. <laughs> so this comes like in a package of two discs, a la Reese's cups. I mean, they don't look like Reese's cups, but they look more nope. like. Are these look like turtles or something kind yeah. of? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like a shitty turtle. Uh-huh. They're like that. What's that one? 
Is there a hostess thing or a little Debbie thing that's like crackly stuff in a brown circle? Oh, uh, Star Crunch, maybe? Yeah. What in the fuck? Oh, my God. Hmm. Ooh. This is horrible. <laughs> this yeah. is Choco Ron. <laughs> oh man, the picture on front couldn't be more misleading. <laughs> it's this... a very like gooey, creamy caramel coming out, and then you you bite it for real, and there's. There's barely uh, barely caramel to be seen. You can taste it, but it's very thin and not good. Well, I think the puffy parts are soy nuggets, because that's what it says in the back. And then the caramel, the first ingredient is prebiotic soluble fiber. Like, everything in here just sounds frankenfood and, and disgusting. <sighs> <laughs> you quenched over there? Oh, jeez. Yeah, I just chugged like a ton of water. This is upsetting. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's a hate or not. I could mm. finish this if I had to. It's just mm. disappointing is what it is. <laughs> Talking to my son after he got came home with a bad report. I'm not card. mad at you. <laughs> I'm just disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think if I had to go eat one of these things. If I had to take a bite of a, one of these three. It might still be this thing, and that's fucking sad. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. This I am going to give it a just a dislike that. It's not like something I want to spit out. I could finish it, so it's not a hate. It just tastes like a old, really old caramel and, and chocolate tossed together. Um, and I don't know if that's because they've taken out the sugar and tasty parts or... That might be a small part of it, but I think it's also just, like, poorly productive. Um, so I'm going to give it a dislike that, Geiger. Probably what do you productive. think? Productive, huh? Uh, yeah. Just like that sentence. Uh, it's... <laughs> I also liked, it tastes really bad. I'm not sure if they took it's because they took out all the good flavor. Yeah, probably. I'm just guessing. Um, yeah, this is weird. I, uh, sadly, I agree with you. I guess if I had a gun to my head, I guess I would eat this of the three because it's not those terrible gummy bears and it's not a coconut shell full of fucking blended up sweet potato or whatever that other thing was. Um, mm -hmm. this is, but it's bad. It tastes stale. It tastes hard and like nasty. Again, I think that one of the problems, and maybe the sugar was what's defining everything, but it just it tastes all one flavor. I know there's caramel, I know there's soy nuggets, I know there's chocolate, but it all kind of just tastes the same. It's bad. The texture's bad. It doesn't taste good. Did I mention it's bad? Um, I don't like it, but I guess of the three, I would pick this one. I'll, I'll give it a dislike that. I could eat this more so than the others, but yeah, this is, uh, as Novak put it, a disappointing uh, candy. Mm. All right, so the uh, the game's on the line here. Mm -hmm. The gummy bears got an indifferent and two dislikes. Chad, you were the one who gave it the indifferent. So oh, we've got two dislikes here. If you're feeling indifferent about this, we can have a tie. Mm -hmm. uh, but anything worse, it's going to... Gummy bears will win. Anything better, and the Choco Ray will win. Well... Um... I'll just say that if I had to pick one of these to eat again, it would be the gummy bears um, because at least those ones didn't like piss me off. You know, <laughs> uh, this is this is the kind of snack that should be like right in my wheelhouse, right? Like crispy, like you see some of these, maybe it's like crisp rice on the outside. You know what I mean? Like maybe like a layer of caramel, some chocolate. Like that kind of thing I would absolutely love. You bite into this, it tastes like a fucking protein bar. You know what I mean? Like like this could be uh this could be this like it honestly tastes like those like some of those what were those ones we tried with uh Nick Ramirez like a while, but the think bars or whatever. You know, yeah. like it it's the interior of it tastes like one of those. It's truly revolting. 
And what really, really pushes this into a hate debt for me, and I am giving it a hate debt, is the the aftertaste is one of the worst aftertastes. Like, I think it's by far the worst aftertaste tonight. One of the worst aftertastes we've had on this pod in a while. Like, the way it sits in my mouth is really, really gross. You add on to that the disappointment of it, of this could should be something good, and it's not. To me, this is an easy hate debt. I think this thing is disgusting. Okay, that means the Scrummy Bears will win with an indifferent <laughs> two dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, Solastri. We really appreciate you sending us these. Yes. I'm sorry we didn't like them. Um, yeah, yeah, we're kind of listeners kind of us. If you have used any of those pickup lines before, if you uh, have been picked up by a pickup line like that, um, if you have um, ever cheated at anything in your life with the aid of artificially intelligence enhanced anal beads, uh, send us those beads just unwashed. I'd like to see how they work. Uh, actually wash them. That'd be better. Uh, if you actually don't send them to me, uh, send them to me, <laughs> send them to <in> chat. <laughs> um, he lives that on one, two, three, you tried that street. Um, yeah, yep. <laughs> yeah. it's on the way you tried that compound. Um, yeah. If you have su- suggestions for snacks for the mailbag or for fucking a, if you have questions for the mailbag suggestions <laughs> for snacks, how many fucking times have I done this? Um, if you would like to tell us what you think of our ratings, anything like that, you can reach us at you tried at gmail.com. You can reach us hashtag you tried it on Twitter. Uh, we have a, you tried that group on Facebook. We're also on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, please give us a review or some likes or some stars or whatever it is you can to uh, show us that you like us. And, uh, if you do like us, uh, let us, uh, let your friends and family know, maybe coworkers, as long as you're not worried about getting fired. Um, and as always, thanks for listening. Okay, so uh, we talked about a few magicians. Mm-hmm. How many famous magicians can you guys come up with? The most famous okay. in the world. <clears throat> All right, uh, I'll go. Okay. Copperfield, uh-huh. Houdini, yeah. yep, yes, Chris Angel, and My, uh, David Blaine. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's where I'm at. Oh, Penn okay. and Teller, which we mentioned earlier. Penn and Teller, guy. Can you add anything to that? Uh, the Great Rodolfo. Um. The- oh, who's the guy? Um, wasn't wasn't there a guy that uh, he died recently? Ricky J. No, oh, Ricky J. Was, was yeah. yeah. Ricky J. Is the name of a magician. Yeah. 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 And then he he was also an he's actor. In, he, he's yeah, in yeah. One movie that Geiger and I love yeah. the trailer for. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, heist. Heist. And he's the guy that goes, "My man's so cool, he cheap count him." <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then there was a what's wasn't there a Muppet ma- that was a magician? The yeah, guy that Doug threw fish. Henning. What? Doug, <laughs> Doug Henning is the famous. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, there was an the actual, actual Muppet. There's that's some the, guy who was with the Muppets. Apparently, oh, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that famous Doug. You got Fozzie and Rolf and Doug Henning. <laughs> I just some white You're guy talking Muppet. About that guy that just whips fish was he? Yeah, Louis or something, right? Is he supposed to be a magician? <laughs> Um, oh, here's a couple you missed. Okay, Lance Burton. I'm pretty sure I'd heard of. Lance oh Burton yeah, he's that right. Vegas guy. Um, oh, Siegfried and Roy, right? That Siegfried one? and Roy. Okay, that right. was another one, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I guess I didn't know that they were. I guess sort of they were magicians, but isn't it just the like the tiger? The tigers like go around and then they beat the shit out of them. And <laughs> yes, <laughs> they're, just, they're tiger abusers. That's the. <laughs> and then one of the tigers made them disappear. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Their tigers are uh, Tony, Rex, and Doug Henning. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, <laughs> Anthony Tony the Tiger. Tiger. Yeah, I know. I think, uh, yeah, I think one of them was was practicing his pickup lines a little too intimately with the tiger. When it when it comes to magic, <laughs> which do, do you prefer the like close up David Blaine street magic, mm-hmm. uh, or the like big David Copperfield? I'm gonna make this 747 like disappear. Uh, which one do you prefer? I, I think I, I like. I have both. to pick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like. I like the. I've been to see David Copperfield when I was a kid. My dad took me, and it was pretty cool. And I, I was a kid, 
But like, you know, he like it was there was an empty stage and then all of a sudden a box showed up and something went happened. He was there in a motorcycle. It was fucking badass. Uh you can't do that on the goddamn street. Like how mm-hmm. am I I'm gonna see your motorcycle pull up and hear the noise? So um I, I do I like the big spectacle. I will say I'm confused. At some point David Blaine was still being called a magician, but his trick was I'm gonna see gonna hang from a skyscraper for two weeks or something. Like that's not a trick. That's just mm-hmm. A There's feat a of endurance. At that point or yeah, yeah, exactly. Here's my so. argument for like David Blaine over Copperfield. Mm-hmm. Is that he's Blaine hotter. is like <laughs> he's doing this stuff mm-hmm. one person to one. Like mm-hmm. he's staring at somebody. He's doing the mm-hmm. cards and stuff. Copperfield, I feel like, jumps around the stage with a cape, like spins around a cape. Like yeah, points at like kids in the crowd who came with their dad. <laughs> anal beads appear in their. Ass. He made me feel special. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Rick at nine four. Uh, oh! Really, like there's a thousand people behind him, like mm-hmm. sure doing all the actual work of it. Well, are we sure though? Like, because you only see David Blaine's street magic in like videos. Are we sure he's not like the people he's talking to aren't just in on it? Like, how do we know it's real? Me and my mm-hmm. dad went to see David Blaine at his house once. Oh yeah, <laughs> he met you in the street in front of his house. <laughs> I I would say for me, like of all those magicians, I'd probably be most interested actually in seeing. Penn and Teller, yeah. um, because like I like ma- magic is like they slay I'm... so much fucking pussy. <laughs> yeah, I want to I want to bend over for them because they're cosmists. Um, <laughs> they like not that not that Penn and Teller are hilarious. Like I probably used to think that I, they were a little funnier maybe when I was a lot younger, <laughs> and now I think like Penn is probably like a fucking insufferable as shit. <laughs> um, but like, wow! I would, I, I would like <laughs> Penn some... catching a stray in here for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> He's so fucking smug. But like, I would like some comedy in my magic show. You know what I mean? Because like, I'm not going to be super super wowed by the magic because like, I know it's all fake or whatever, and it's just like, all right, well, I could try to figure out how to do it or how they did it or just go on with my life. So at least like, make the show entertaining with like some jokes or like make the tricks funny in some way. You know. Like this time, the anal beads come out of his ear or something. Like that, you know? <laughs> I think I would have liked Houdini. Yeah, because right? I just want to see like a guy hanging upside down, just like in a straight jacket, just fucking whipping around like a fish for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, think I, I think I think I would have. I think I would have liked uh, Doug Hansen or whatever his name was, <laughs> <Doug Hennen. laughs> as he throws fish around. I think that's probably <laughs> the one I want to see. <laughs> Is the Muppet <laughs> named Doug Throwfish? <laughs> no, his name is Louie. Oh, Louie Hansen. Okay. Louie Hansen. Uh, uh, Chris Hansen. He... <laughs> what does Chris Angel do? Is it just like emo magic? Like, what? He, I don't understand. He's a, he's a mind freak, Novak. He freaks oh, his oh, fucking yeah. mind. Yeah. <laughs> Now my long hair part is going to cover my other eye, and then he whips his head over. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to sudden. I'm going to cross my dad's name out with this tattoo. No, I, I just picture him like. <laughs> I'm always like picturing him just floating down to earth in like the Jesus pose, and I, I don't know one trick he's ever done. He's fucking levitating to earth. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> where the fuck's he coming from? I'm fucking rotating Venus. I don't fucking know. He's fucking, coming from Uranus. Hey, yeah, there we go. Coming Timely from a joke. Therapist, little emo bitch. But uh, yeah, wow. he's a. I don't know. I, I hate don't know why Penn, he, and you hate Angel. I guess. I, I, guess. I, I don't even know one thing he does. He just looks like such a stroke. Like I don't have any interest. <laughs> 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 like just, I, he could be a nice guy. I don't know. Uh-huh. <laughs> could be. <laughs> Definitely could be. <laughs> Wears a lot of Ed Hardy stuff. That's totally <laughs> he, when you're not looking, he'll like he'll just wave his hands around in the audience, and then everyone looks down. And there's like sequins uh, attached to all their jean pockets. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's call it there. Um, we'll be back next time. We're turning out three brand new snakes. This is. Yep. Doug Henning. And the Gills Brothers. Uh, well, it better be good, Frog. I got plenty of these microphone stands left, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh,
Doug Henning. Sometimes I do what I want. Sometimes I feel a great notion to jump in a net and get caught. 